Top 5 Rules of Entrepreneurship First Rule of Entrepreneurship by Indra Nooyi Two years ago, I started to write to parents of my direct reports. Okay? And it happened because, you know, I am uh, Indian origin and I was in India and uh, my father passed away many, many years ago. My mom lives in India and I went home to spend time with her and every two minutes some stranger would show up home and my mom would say, this is the neighbor's fourth cousin, come and say hello. And I say, mom, I'm here on vacation, I want to rest. <laughs> and she say, you may come here for four days and leave, but I have to live with these people, so you better show up and be on display. So I was dressed, you know, like I was going to a party morning to evening just to say hello to people. But the irony of it was they would come in, they'd say, oh, so this is the daughter. And then they'd blow past me in 30 seconds and go to my mom and say, you are so wonderful, you gave birth to this child, it's you, that's great. So my mom would just sit there taking all these compliments. <laughs> at that point, and you know, she's a very humble woman, but she loved this. So at that time, it occurred to me that every person is either a product or a victim of their upbringing. So I came back and I said, look, I have, at that time, I, between my direct reports and one more level, I had 27 of them. I said, all of these people who run PepsiCo are in fact the products of their upbringing. Mm. So I owe their parents a thank you. So I wrote to every one of the parents, a standard paragraph explaining why I was writing to them. And then I wrote very tailored two or three paragraphs about their son or daughter. Thanking them for the gift of their child to PepsiCo. The emotion that is evoked has been unbelievable. And I write to them now once a year since then. But the emotion that's evoked is unbelievable. The they'll write me notes. Dear Indra, I just went to the store, I saw this. Maybe you should talk to my son to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> it is just, it is this private dialogue I have with the parents. They write to me about everything. I saw you on Squawk Box. I loved what you said. Bless you. I went to church and said a prayer for you. You know what? It's a private dialogue I have with parents. And I think it's, it, it increases the commitment of the executives to PepsiCo because it's brought the whole family in. We always wrote to spouses, that's a PepsiCo tradition, but now we uh, brought the parents in. And I say this to you because, remember I talked to you about ruling the company with heart, head and hands? This is the hard part. And it takes more time. I also made a commitment, which I think may have been a mistake, but I committed that I would visit every one of those parents. So out of my 16 <laughs> direct reports, I've done 10. I still have six to go. Second Rule of Entrepreneurship by Sundar Pichai From our perspective, and I think it's true for uh, in technology in particular, you know, the world keeps changing, as I said earlier. So, uh, you know, a big part of what I focus on at any given time is, you know, making sure we are innovating and building products for the future. You know, it's just got to be a normal course of how you think. Um, and so, you know, we are constantly thinking about what to do next. So, you know, Android is very popular. People are using smartphones. But you know, I always sit and think about what is the next version of how people use computing, right? And so we are thinking about you know, things like virtual reality or augmented reality. So these are all new areas, but we are constantly thinking about it. And so you have to do that uh, on a constant basis uh, to push forward. Three Drool of Entrepreneurship by Jack M.A. I remember my first time in Time Magazine, they call me Crazy Jack. And I, I think crazy is good. We are crazy, but we're not stupid. <laughs> so many people I talked to at that time for Alipay, they say, this is the stupidest idea you have ever got. But I say, I don't wear the stupid club as long as people use it. Now we have uh, 800 million people using this Alipay. Fourth rule of entrepreneurship by Steve Jobs. My entire life's been spent only in one industry, which is this one. And, uh, but I've been in it now for about 15 years and I've seen a lot of people make a lot of things, I've seen a lot of people fail a lot of things. And my, my point of view on this, or my observation is that the doers are the major thinkers. Uh, the people that really create the things that change this industry are both the thinker-doer in one person. And if we really go back and we examine, uh, you know, did, did Leonardo have a guy off to the side that was thinking five years out in the future what he would paint or the technology he would use to paint it? Of course not. Leonardo was the artist, but he also mixed all his own paints. He also was a, a fairly good chemist, knew about pigments, 
uh, knew about human anatomy, and combining all of those skills together, the art and the science, the thinking and the doing, was what resulted in the exceptional result. And there is no difference in our industry. The people that have really made the contributions have been the thinkers and the doers. And when you, when you, uh, a lot of people, of course, it's, it's very easy to take credit for the thinking. Uh, the doing is more concrete, but somebody, it's very easy for somebody to say, oh, I thought of this three years ago. But uh, usually when you dig a little deeper, you find that the people that really did it were also the people that really worked through the hard intellectual problems as well. Fifth Rule of Entrepreneurship by Elon Musk. If you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to, uh, attra is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing, that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is, is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is, and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. Thanks for watching.